Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be talking you through the new range that I am trading here on the Bitcoin chart and it has already started off so perfectly. So I'm going to be talking to you and giving you that range and I also want to discuss the US market today and how this could potentially have effect on the Bitcoin chart. Okay, so before I get into the range, which is really nice, I want to go through the US market. Okay, so there is a holiday, ho <laughs> there is a holiday today in the USA, and this means that the stock market is closed. Uh, which for me personally is a shame. I've enjoyed the correlation between the S and P and um, you know Bitcoin as well as trading Tesla. I mean. If any of you are like day traders, then Tesla has just been pretty insane recently. You know, really, really, really big moves. So, yeah, we're going to miss out on trading Tesla. So full attention on Bitcoin. Um, and how is this going to potentially affect Bitcoin? And, and in my opinion, the US holiday and the stock market being closed is going to affect it in one of two ways. Option number one, we trade in the range that I have highlighted. And I'll give that to you in a second. Option number two is that we get what I like to refer as low volume games. So with the US market being closed, with US inter institutional traders being, you know, away uh, and potentially just a lower, you know, a lower activity of trading with a US holiday, um, we have the potential of thinner books. Again, we've actually already seen this. So, I've, you know, I've already seen this this morning. We had a move down and the books were really, really thin. So, you know, my assumptions are I think are going to play out correct that, you know, the books are really thin. And what does this actually mean in layman terms? It means that there's less people trading, less orders are placed. And so with um, smaller capital, you can move the market in bigger directions than what it would normally take. Let's say to move the market generally $100, it's going to take around $30 million. OK, today you could move the same price with, uh, you know, $20 million for an example. Yeah, uh, so it's it's thinner books, less money required to move the price. And in this in this um, environment, OK, with thinner books, you do have the opportunity for some like, uh, you know, low volume games and, you know, just price being pushed around, you know, seeing these wicks to the upside downside or just a sustained move, which is then generally reversed when the volume comes back. So um, that's a potential that we do have today. And I, I would enjoy it because at the moment it's um, it's just in our, our range. So this is the range that I want to talk you through. And this is this is pretty insane. And um, how so what what is I have a few mottos in trading and uh, or like quotes, I suppose. And one of my quotes, what is it about the range? What do I tell you to do with the range? I tell you to trade the range until it breaks. Yeah, really, really simply. We're not trading for breakouts. We're trading the range until it breaks because that's how you actually make more money on trading. And um, what I want to show you here is identify the range before it forms you might be like what how can, how can you possibly tell me tell me where the range is going to be before price has even gone there and this is a mixture of different technical analysis tools where where we identify confluences as well as market context of where we've come from where we're likely to push towards and uh, this is a, a a pretty cool example um you know i've done this before but i'm going to give you the example because it's today of me identifying a range before it forms. So you can see these are all my posts from yesterday. Okay, these are all my posts from yesterday. You know, you just come across, search my name, obviously in the champions group, and uh, you can see all my posts. Da -da 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 -da. We're going down, we're going down, we're going down, we're going down to my post, which was, um, yeah, here. So I was identifying a range between 9160 and 9100. And I was posting, you know, you can go to the timestamps. This was posted at uh, half past 10. OK, and this was just as we were breaking up. OK, just as we were breaking up here. And I want to show you this as, you know, get into my mind of what this was like in the time when I was posting this in the group sort of thing. So this is what you would have seen on the charts. OK, so a move up. OK, sustain sideways and then going for this next move to the upside. And this was all off the back of the channel. OK, so this was the, you know, obviously our 9066. This was our first uh, break above that channel. And you can see the respect. You know, this, this is the same channel I've been talking about for, for 60 days. Respect, respect, respect to the dollars. I mean, I just I just can't, over, you know, just the emphasis of how perfect that channel has been 60 days long. Yeah, you're not going to see better than that because look at it. Respect, respect, respect of resistance flipped into support, support. And this is where I was thinking that we have the potential for like a little short squeeze here to push us to the upside. And I think I did write that in the group as well. Um, yeah, you had obviously had a negative funding. You could squeeze a few shorts. And that's where I was saying, looks like we're going to squeeze a few shorts. But I was expecting the range build up of open interest. And then the range that I gave was um, 
Nine, well, I was asked, but you know, where am I thinking the range? 9,160 to 9,000. That's where I was expecting the range. That's what I was expecting to happen up to 9,160. Then we come up and we hit 9,155. Uh, there's a little secret of why that happened. Um, yeah, then I obviously went into my short position at 9,148. So uh, the way that I like to trade is laddered orders. So it's like ladder in and ladder out of a position. And so you get like a nice average entry. And you can see like this This was posted when we were back at, back at here. The, the, the high had not been formed. A low had not been formed. And literally my posts... <laughs> this is what you know. This is what I posted this morning. Champions range right there. Called in advance. The high by five dollars. The low by fifteen dollars. And that was the high. Called in advance by five dollars. The lend the low of the range by nine thousand dollars. The quote. Identify the range before it even forms. Know where to trade. Know where the high is going to be. Know where the low is going to be. Or likely. Obviously, we don't know hundred percent. But likely probabilities. We know the region of the high. We know the region of the low. We're trading that range before it even happens. Okay, so we see the move up there, 9,155 being the high, a little bit of a pullback. And think of, think in the time, okay, think in the time as you see this. Okay, Bitcoin just ran up from, you know, just ran from 9,030 all the way up $100 pretty quickly. Okay, it's not pulling back, it's just making higher highs and higher lows. How many people at this point do you think are either one of, you know, they're either getting stopped out of their short positions because they were too aggressive on a short and they're getting stopped out at this price or they're not averaging into an entry or, you know, they're just simply getting stopped out of their positions because they're expecting a really big breakout here. Or number two, people longing the breakout. People are longing up here, getting trapped into their longs as they're expecting, once again, price to break out and not form a range. And I can tell you this because I saw the footprint charts. We were seeing about 3 million, 2 million, 4 million, uh, all trapped in the high of this week. So this means that they're like we literally have evidence on the chart that people were trapped uh, trying to trade those breakouts, you know. And then that gives us the fuel to, to push back down. Um, so, you know, that, that was obviously as you were pushing up. So I just need to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so that was as we were pushing up. We managed to identify the high of that range. Obviously, I was taking short positions, uh, posting that in the group. And then we obviously come along, come along, come along, come along. This is all while I'm asleep, by the way. So this is coming like going along, going along, going along. You have another rise to the upside. This is again at like 2, 3 a.m. I'm asleep during all of this. <laughs> you know, you continue to actually range here. I was waking up this morning. So this is around 10 a.m. And then you see the flush to the downside. We hit 9,015, but you do take out some lows. So you take some liquidity and, uh, you know, there is a nice range then, isn't it? So from 9,160 to 9,000. We've identified that range that's likely <clears throat> before it's even happened. And we've actually pretty pretty close uh, nailing the highs and nailing the lows. <laughs> um, sorry, I need to take another drink. <clears throat> apologies, apologies. It's because it's still pretty early for me. It's 11.30, but um, yeah, I, I had a little bit of a line, I suppose. <laughs> um and my, my throat is always a bit croaky in the mornings. And you might be might notice my energy is a little bit lower than normal. But uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, there we go. So yeah, that, that's a pretty nice example, I think, of firstly trade the range till it breaks. And then if you can identify where the range is going to be before it even happens, well, there you go. You, you're on to some magic money right there. Um, trading Bitcoin to magic internet money with uh, magic levels. <clears throat> my, 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 my before they even form like that's that that's pretty impressive isn't it like uh yeah so um you know i was in that short took profits out of those and now we're, and now i'm still envisioning that we can put in a range here um one could imagine that maybe you get a flush to the downside with the low volume i mean that's to be decided though i'm not i'm not really massively bullish or massively bearish at the moment you know think of the higher term right time frame range that we are trading so this is up on the eight hour chart we have just got this range that's going on, you know, quite often. We are putting in lower highs, but we are still finding support on this, 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 uh, you know, 9,060 level. So, yeah, pretty important support, 9,060. That monthly still, you know, give you 9,400 resistance. Um, you know, 9,060 is lo local support to that, 8,705 local support as well, you know, for a bit further down. And then, but, you know, these are pretty high term time frame levels. You know, I've given you literally the range that I'm trading today or that I, I have been trading over the last, well, while I was asleep, literally. So, um, you know, that that's a local range that, you know, hopefully you can, you know, you can trade this and, and make some money as well. Um, so I guess I'll end with, I guess I must say that this is not financial advice. Do your own research, um, you know, entertainment, educational purpose only this video, do what you want. Um, 
but yeah nevertheless i hope that you've enjoyed i hope that you've taken something from the video and you've uh kind of uh you know understood what we're looking for we're, we're again we're not trading for the breakouts we're trading ranges and you know if you can identify these ranges so how do you identify them you look for confluences so you don't just look for one tool you look for a, you know a bunch of tools to come together and i will tell you this I, I took a loss yesterday on my uh, Bitcoin challenge account for the for the champions. I took a loss on it. So um, no, this was two days ago. I took a loss on it. So um, if you want, I will post uh, I will make a video about talking about this loss and publish that on YouTube. Um, so you can see, you know, it's all, it's nice about me talking about these wins and stuff. But, you know, I did take a loss. So I'm um, happy to share that if you're interested in viewing it. So let me know. Um, if you want to see that, because I talked about it yesterday, but I must, I, I guess I want to say that as well. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of the support that you gave. Obviously, I'm banned off of uh, Twitter, so Twitter's no more, um, which is, is is a kind of a shame, and it's and it's you know, but yeah, there, there you go. That that's that's life. Uh, so I'm no longer on Twitter. So um, you'll have to just let me know in the comments down below uh, whether you want me to talk about that loss or whether you just want me to continue doing technical analysis, you know, and then I'll, I'll happy to do happy to just do a technical um, analysis video or like talking about these ranges, how I'm trading and st things like this. Uh, but if you would like a special video about me talking about a losing trade, how I managed that losing trade, why I lost it and then how the trade progressed, uh, I'm more than happy to publish that on YouTube for you. I've already recorded it for the members, so if you then want me to put it into public, then let me know. Um, so, I think that's everything that I wanted to say. Uh, final words, probably going to be a pretty low volume day, I would imagine. So, you know, you, you could probably take today off and it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, you know, you do have the potential of, of these really quick and big moves, though. So, it's kind of the thing, have alert set. Maybe you don't want to overtrade this. And, um, yeah, final words, thank you so much, all the support that you've given me. I like it honestly means the world to me and I know I'm a little bit this video might be a bit a little bit like I'm a bit uh, down but you know honestly thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much I appreciate every single one of you and uh, you know I just hope that I can help you with these videos and um, you know there, there you go that, that's all I will say giving you the range that I'm trading at the moment so that's the best I can give you today and um, yeah enjoy trading this uh, hopefully you can make some money and um, yeah <laughs> identify the ranges before they even form cheers everybody thank you and goodbye <laughs>